So if you notice, there's like a, a little bit of a pause um, midway through the stroke. You're doing a, a good job of getting more of a catch angle or high elbow. Um, and you're not pausing on all of them, but you're pausing on some of them. Points you're reaching to are good, right in front of your shoulder. So we're talking about the uh, finish of the stroke <coughs> and uh, maintaining uh, the right sort of hand position where your hand is more or less flat to the back wall and uh, you want to feel the pressure or resistance on the hand throughout the stroke. So your, your catch in the front has improved, uh, definitely getting more of the high elbow, early vertical forearm position. You're getting the position, and then uh, as you pull through the stroke, you get this, the slightest bit of the elbow leading the stroke back. You're not dropping the elbow, but that's good. What's going on is that you're uh, not quite getting the entire uh, vertical forearm. So, the, you know, the, the straight up and down vertical form is really what uh, gets you more power. You're getting closer to that as far as the catch goes. But what we noticed was that your hand was sort of turning inward towards your torso uh, on, the, on the second half of the pull. Uh, the other thing we noticed was that your, you get a little bit of that pause there in the middle of the stroke. Um, and so that's going to cause some deceleration. All right, so this one... Uh, we're talking about not pausing in the middle of the stroke, or not not decelerating. All right. So this is good. This is better. Uh, still a little bit of a, uh, a, a slight slowdown in the middle, and it's right. It is right where the stroke transitions from a pulling motion to a, a pushing motion. So, leave it on the 30 here. 
trying to get a feel for the sort of times you're doing in this storm. Yes. Let's see. It's 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 a little more subtle here, but you can still catch it. It's just the very middle of the stroke. You're doing a good job of uh, maintaining the technique. All right. And that's, all right. So we're still talking about maintaining that uh, momentum through the stroke. Uh, you, you mentioned that you're worried that you're going to kind of fall back into a straight arm pattern. You know, that, that is always a risk, but uh, the point of doing all the drills and the hope of doing all the drills is that you, you, you change the way you swim when you're not thinking about it. Right? You actually improve your technique. Uh, and so when you just think about swimming harder or faster, that's 35, 36, then... Uh, you're able to have that better technique without a lot of conscious thought behind it. So I'm going to say the the stroke, you know, technique mechanics here are still pretty good. I don't see um, I don't see backsliding to a, a lot of straight arm. There is some elbow slip on this left arm, and that that left really wants to sort of pause just a little bit. And that's a 110. Alright, so talked about uh, keeping the strokes long and having that strong pull through the stroke. Um, I mentioned that you know it did look like you were losing a little bit of the catch on that previous swim. So now I can see you're thinking about it. But what happens is you get a little bit of that pause in the middle of the stroke back. That's uh, 59. So that was 37, 38 to the 25. So thinking about the technique here, you get that pause in the middle and the 50 is going to be slower. Not by much. 13, 14, so. Uh, one. I said don't worry about the uh, technique, really. Don't, don't think about it. Just think about getting your pull from point A to point B and see what happens there. So it looks like your your hand position is staying pretty good through the stroke here. Right, that's 35, 36. The the left definitely wants to uh, decelerate just slightly right in the center of the stroke, like the midpoint or when your hand is right below your shoulder or approaching right below your shoulder. 